Noi J. How's it going, booze man? Fine, goddammit. Hey, Deke, we're getting low on supplies. Could use some more meat if you get a chance. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, I guess it's been a while since we did any hunting. I'll see if I can scare up some meat while I'm out. You, uh, you remember what you're doing? Good. Uh, yeah, I had Cope give me a few pointers, believe it or not. Cope? Oh, shit, I don't believe it. Thanks, Deke. See you, booze man. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. I grew up in these here woods. My grandfather taught me all about hunting. Funny how it still works in the world he never would have dreamed of. I built my first tree house to use as a deer hole. Hidden high on your target. That was your aim. Where you poor son of a bitch, at least you weren't torn apart by freaks. If you lived a few more weeks, you might have become one yourself, and I wouldn't have happened something. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Come on, stay back. I just want to talk. Uh, Nero Protocol 2-7 states clearly that, that if conducting operations in quarantine zones, if I encounter any civilians or sub... sub Civilians that I'm forbidden from making contact. Really? See, that sounded to me like making contact. Yes. Yes, it did. You're alive. Yes. I am. How? How are you alive? What? I, I, I don't understand. Okay. You were there that night. Farewell. 
Excellent. <laughs> Neural camp. protocol 2 the 7 were states. Burning. Everyone I, was dead. Two they were slaughtered. Seven. Torn limb Neural from goddamn limb. Protocol All right, listen up. We're going to do this the easy way or the hard way. The easy way, we have a little chat. You give me the information that I need, and then you go back to digging your way through freaker shit or whatever the hell else you're doing out here the hard way. I crack open that little space suit, and then we see what your friends out there have to say about you breathing in all this contaminated air. So what's it gonna be, O'Brien? Yes? Okay? Okay? You remember the rooftop of the old brewery. I put a woman on your chopper, she was wounded. Yes. I remember. A, a knife wound. She, she was cut pretty bad. I went to the refugee camp that you said you were taking her to. Everyone was dead, so I'm going to ask you again. How did you survive? We weren't there. We were diverted south to another camp. Like you said, the camp in Belknap was overrun, so they moved us south to a camp outside of Silver Lake. Were there survivors? You mean now? I don't know. I... I was transferred to the research unit. Did she survive? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, 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 I can find out. I, I can check. You, you have one of our radios. That's how you... Uh, I, I can't promise anything, but I'll, I'll check. Uh-huh, and I'm going to go with you. No, you, you can't. Please, you don't... Hey, you don't understand. Don't fucking shoot you. Not before I shoot you. Okay, look, if you're going to fucking kill me, do it, okay? I did my job. Did the woman, your wife... I put her on oxygen, I gave her an IV. I kept her alive. I got in a lot of trouble for that. She was septic, she wasn't gonna make it, but I got out of the mass unit. I saved her goddamn life! O'Brien, report. I have to go. Please, you have to get out of here. You don't know these men. You don't know Brian, what they're capable of. If I don't hear from you. I don't care how long it takes, I'm gonna track you down. And I'm gonna do a lot worse than snap off an antenna. I'm sorry about your wife. But you're not the only one who lost someone that night. <laughs>